recently I introduced the concept of life monastery as a way to look at life and to live it with much more sacredness and attention to our spiritual growth. And I want to just spend a few minutes reflecting on what that actually means, practically speaking. So just like in a regular monastery, you have the disciplines of rituals that happen several times a day. And that's also what we create in our own life monastery. We create regular discipline of rituals for the heart, <laughs> for the mind, in service to the growth of the soul. And those rituals are up to each person's spiritual resonance, spiritual path. Some people will meditate several times a day or at least once a day. Some people will pray. Some people will read a sacred text. Some people journal, dance, walk in the woods or in nature. But there are rituals that are done not as to somehow just to follow a tradition and a dry tradition, but no, because this is life monastery, it's your life. You get to determine what those rituals are and you understand the meaning underlying those rituals. For example, people who pray or say grace before they eat Oftentimes, they've done it all their life and it becomes a rote thing. You know, they just kind of do it out of habit. It's a ritual, but it's based on tradition that was handed down to them. And it doesn't carry the kind of personal meaning that it could if you were the one to design your own ritual based on what is deeply meaningful and sacred to you. So... This is what I invite you to do. To design the rituals for your mind, heart, in service to the growth of your soul in your own life monastery. What would you love to be doing on a regular basis when you wake up in the morning, during midday, in the afternoon, and in the evening, and before bed, and as you fall asleep. All of these are moments that help you to come back again and again to your own life monastery so that it helps you to bring sacredness into much of what you do throughout the day. That is the work, the true work of the life monastery is to bring your sacred meaning, purpose, practice, awareness, perception into every moment of the day, into whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're at work or you're at home, you're talking to somebody, you're doing chores, all of it can either contain, can either not contain any sacredness and simply be a habit or a, something you're trying to get done without, with absence of consciousness, or it can be one where you are breathing and infusing some spirit into that moment. And this is, a, this is being part of your own life monastery is something that you can feel free to keep private. You don't have to tell others. You may wish to tell a few others for accountability or to discuss what that might mean for you, especially if they know you well and can help to suggest ideas or to guide you. But it's certainly not something to, um, you know, kind of be too proud over, to lord it over others, like you're, you're more special <laughs> than others because you're doing this thing. No, it's just, 
It's a private practice. Nobody has to know unless it's helpful for you to better you know, connect to it and stick with it. But each person has their own rhythm for what this means for them. And yet the fact that you're here watching this, listening to this, we have our own little tiny community of practice here. And you are welcome to comment below if you want to. You know, commenting below might mean that others could see your comment. And if you, don't, if you want to keep it private, then don't comment below. But feel free to comment below if you want to share what your life monastery practices are for the benefit of others who are going to be watching this and seeing the comments and for my benefit as well. If you want to send a private message, you can. Um, I, I can't guarantee that I will respond, but I will certainly be reading it. And I'm grateful for you for, for um, participating here. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope this is helpful in some way. Uh, may this inspire you to whether or not you join your own life monastery or create your own. I hope this will help you to live your life with greater connection, deeper connection to your divine essence, to your universal and ultimately loving source. So thank you for being part of this.